Thank you for watching this video that outlines the FY 2019 BSBA resolutions that were submitted by member school boards around the state. I'm Susan Holson, VSBA Director of Education Services, and I'm joined today by Clarence Haynes, VSBA Vice President and Chair of the Resolutions Committee, and Sue Siglowski, VSBA Director of Legal and Policy Services, who worked with the Resolutions Committee to review the 17 proposed resolutions submitted by local school boards, plus two that were generated by the committee. According to the bylaws, the board makes a recommendation to pass, do not pass, or take no position to each proposed resolution, which will be discussed by the full membership at the annual meeting on October 18th and voted on by delegates from each supervisory union. With that, let's get started with the first proposed resolution. Resolution 1, a proposal on cost containment timing was submitted by the Burlington School Board. The background for Resolution 1 is that Vermont school districts develop their budgets through a comprehensive and rigorous process, often involving community outreach, consultation with stakeholder groups, and alignment of spending decisions with long-range planning objectives. The resolution asks the General Assembly to allow reasonable time for school districts to plan for cost containment and refrain from passing legislation that affects budgets already adopted by school boards. The board position is passed. Resolution 2, a proposal to promote an increased federal funding of technical education was submitted by the Burlington School Board. The background for Resolution 2 includes information that the United States discretionary spending for education is 2% of the U.S. budget and the United States discretionary spending for defense and homeland security is 15% of the U.S. budget. The resolution proposes increased federal funding of public schools in the United States by redirecting 1% of the United States military budget for education purposes. The board position is do not pass. Resolution 3 proposes requiring working together models in the VSBA collective bargaining training and was submitted by the Burlington School Board. The background provided for Resolution 3 states the Relationship by Objective program is a recognized best practice for unions and employers to accept joint ownership and responsibility for problems and jointly develop solutions. The resolution would have VSBA provide workshops on the Relationship by Objective program. The board position is do not pass. Yeah. Resolution 4 proposes awarding recognition to school boards that employ community unifying strategies in collective bargaining. This resolution was also submitted by the Burlington School Board. The background for Resolution 4 is a statement that the VSBA should promote, celebrate, and award school boards throughout the state that are able to settle contracts with their employees amicably and in ways that unite the communities they serve. The board position is do not pass. Resolution 5 supports the study of costs associated with providing social services when making funding decisions and in setting ratios. This resolution was also submitted by the Burlington School Board. The background for Resolution 5 is that Vermont school districts are incurring significant expenses associated with providing social services, diverting financial resources from educational programs in schools. The board position is passed. Resolution 6 request rescission of last year's resolution regarding innovation zones and was also submitted by the Burlington School Board. The background for Resolution 6 is that the resolution adopted last year was taken from the American Exchange Council website. The board position is do not pass. Resolution 7 was proposed by the Burlington School Board and withdrawn because it is a duplicate of Resolution 8. Resolution 8 favors the 
inclusion of teachers on local school boards. This resolution was also submitted by the Burlington School Board. The background for Resolution 8 states that teachers are a resource for local boards and should be included on school boards as consultants on all public issues outside of executive session. The board position is do not pass. The Kingdom East Unified School District submitted Resolution 9, which supports realigning VSBA regional boundaries. The background for Resolution 9 is that the reorganization of supervisory unions and school boards throughout the state has resulted in instances where school districts in one supervisory union are in different VSBA regions. The board position is passed. Resolution 10, submitted by the Marlboro School District, supports VSBA's recruiting and training new school board members in support of creative and innovative educational practices. The background for Resolution 10 is that VSBA is running successful training programs for board members around the state, which could be modified to provide more outreach to potential members. The board position is passed. Resolution 11 supports leaving school safety actions and decisions to local school boards. The Newark Street School District submitted Resolution 11. The background provided for Resolution 11 states that school safety and security is not a one-size-fits-all solution. The board position is do not pass. The Rockingham School Board submitted Resolution 12, seeking a moratorium on new educational legislation. The background for Resolution 12 is that there have been an unprecedented number of education-related laws passed during the last 10 years, requiring substantial changes to policies, operations, and structures of Vermont schools and school districts. The board position is do not pass. Resolution 13 was submitted by the Stowe School District and was withdrawn because it was very similar to Resolution 1 submitted by the Burlington School Board. Resolution 14 calls for the Vermont Legislature and the United States Congress to enact legislation that limits the sale of automatic rifles and expands background checks, waiting periods for gun sales. The Taconic and Green school district submitted this resolution. The background for Resolution 14 is a concern for the safety of students and employees of school districts. The submitting board found that arming teachers makes no sense and that there is no adequate way to protect students and staff from a person armed with a semi-automatic firearm. The board's position is take no position. Resolution 15, submitted by the Westminster School District, asked for an ongoing analysis of Act 46 cost savings achieved through mergers. The background for Resolution 15 is that numerous districts have merged as a result of Act 46 and that savings and reductions in spending have been achieved by reducing staffing, renegotiating insurance coverage, and other cost-saving measures. The board position is do not pass. Resolution 16 asks for legislative review of supervisory union structure and was submitted by the White River Union School District. The background for Resolution 16 is that statutory changes over the years have given increasing authority to supervisory unions and Act 46 has caused many districts to consolidate. This has caused some supervisory union boards to revisit their board structure. In some cases, however, larger population districts, which pay a greater share of SU expenses, are not able to persuade the SU board to petition the State Board of Education for a waiver of the SU board structure requirements. The board position is passed. Resolution 17 relates to the disposition of debt during district consolidations. This resolution was submitted by the Worcester School District. The background provided for Resolution 17 is that merging school districts have disparate levels of bonded debt 
and that assuming the debt equally across a new merged district may result in inequitable debt burdens. The board position is do not pass. Yep. Resolution 18 was proposed by the VSBA Resolutions Committee regarding civil discourse among education leaders, promoting conflict resolution and consensus building models. The background for Resolution 18 is that it is our obligation as educational leaders to model civil discourse and problem solving. We want future generations to approach conflicts and opposing priorities with humility and a commitment to understanding diverse perspectives. The board position is passed. Resolution 19 was also generated by the VSBA Resolutions Committee and relates to the newly created Commission on Public School Employee Health Benefits. The background of Resolution 19 is that Act 11 requires the VSBA to appoint five representatives of school employers to the Commission on Public School Employee Health Benefits and adopt procedures for ratification of any agreement entered into by the Commission. The board position is passed. Thank you for your interest in the proposed VSBA resolutions for 2019. We hope every school board has time to discuss and agree on each resolution to provide your supervisory union or supervisory district delegate with direction for voting on October 18th at the annual business meeting. 